Adelaide. 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 South Australia. Gun. Officers. Crime. 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 Police. 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 Livable. Very safe city. Peaceful. Underrated. Open. Approachable. Vibrant. Consistent. Only the worst news sells. The worst side of crime, including serious incidents such as murder, rape and assault, are often showed in the media and news. Have you ever heard of Adelaide being the murder capital of Australia? This statement has been proved incorrect time and time again when Adelaide's crime rates have been significantly lower than the other states. So, why does Adelaide have such a bad reputation and why are people so afraid of crime? We want a place where people feel safe, uh, able to move around freely uh, without fear of being a victim of crime. A safe city has many different uh, aspects to it. We expect that people can live, work, um, play. It's, uh, it's quite a complex web of uh, things that all add up to how you personally feel uh, in terms of being safe in a particular city. Safe city is a city that anybody can walk around, move around any hour of the day or night and actually feel comfortable and safe. It's a safe and welcoming space where um, people can move easily through the pedestrian areas so you have enough space for everyone to move. I think overall Adelaide is a safe city. I moved here in January this year and from my experience it seems like a great place to live. Everyone is really welcoming and it's a comfortable place. It is very safe. Statistically, it's clearly very safe. Crime has been going down since 2002 steadily. The statistics do show that lots of types of crimes are falling off. I think Adelaide's really safe. I think that we're quite tolerant of other people. We've seen uh, continuing reductions of um, reported crime for the last 15 odd years. I think that we're well policed. I think we've got great street lighting, we've got activity. Uh, I, think it's a, I think it's a safe city. The Office of Crime Statistics and Research has shown that the crime in the Adelaide CBD peaked in 2002 and has been on a downward slope since. From 2002 to 2016, overall crime in the Adelaide CBD has declined by 43.6%. To be more specific, over the years, burglary and break-ins has decreased by 74.6%, property damage and environmental offences by 66.4%, crime in public spaces by 47.5%, and offences against the person by 18.9%. strategies. We will have things like operational fingers, neighbourhood watch groups and a home assist when we may actually go to somebody's house and uh, conduct a safety audit to look how secure their premises are. Their personal safety as well, especially for older people. We um, continue to improve safety by owning and developing infrastructure. So we have, for example, throughout the city we've got a huge lighting capability. In the last 10 years we've changed nearly all of those lights from yellow to white light because um, white light um, makes you feel safer. Adelaide in itself is improving, it's installing more closed circuit TV in the right places. The increase in the number of security cameras in the central business district and the uh, late night they do appear to have some impact on crime. We have a network of 116 CCTV cameras and there. It's pretty much um, all through our entertainment areas, shopping areas and um, through into North Adelaide as well. So it's a really huge network. We have more CCTV than um, Sydney and Melbourne. The bollards that have been put in around Adelaide Oval, I don't know if you're aware of that. I worked with a community member who um, developed designs for those bollards and then she ran workshops and got a whole lot of people involved in doing those designs and then we had them applied to those bollards. We sat down with Adelaide City Council and said there are some um, vulnerable areas in the city that need to be addressed. Rundle Mall was one, those bollards have been installed there and the Adelaide Oval was another one. I think the most effective strategy of all is engaging with the public. We try and work really closely with community members and that's a new direction over the last few years. People talking to us about what they see on the street, what 
doesn't look right, what doesn't feel right generally is not right. We try to get community members to take the lead with um, certain projects. You cannot police in isolation. You heavily rely on engaging with the community. All of these things have a particular focus, but they're part of a, a big picture arrangement. We have seen uh, an increase in the level of fear of crime which is disproportionate to the actual number of crimes being committed. Less crimes are being committed, but more people feel unsafe. Um, it doesn't seem to be the type of correlation you would expect to see. Media like to sensationalise. I think the media makes people aware of what's happening. It's almost like you're continuously exposed to um, this avalanche of information about crime, which changes the way you feel about safety. Um, and your feelings about safety don't necessarily correlate with the true Likelihood. I think it may influence other people, but it is just making them aware of what's happening around them. Crime, especially serious crime, sells papers. So if it is newsworthy, it's important to report on them. It sells television programs. There's a very crass saying which is that if it bleeds, it leads. And what that means is that serious crime, particularly murders, gruesome attract a lot of attention. I think it's human instinct for people to put themselves in other people's situations, but I think that you can't deny that these things are happening. It contributes to a sense that it's, it, we live in a far more dangerous society than we do. And all of a sudden, uh, a person gets their house broken into in Torrance Park, um, everybody right across South Australia in a particular network hears about this crime. If that happens 10 times a day, that's hundreds of people are hearing about these 10 isolated incidents. And then it's up to other people to feel safe and know that, know that their communities are safe and quite often these are isolated incidents that do happen. Adelaide is a very safe city, if not one of the safest in Australia and the world. There is no reason to be afraid of crime to the extent that people are. This has been proven repeatedly by Adelaide's consistently declining crime rates. The strong connections between SAFOL, the Adelaide City Council and community help to strengthen and enhance safety. Although crime rates are steadily decreasing, there are still many opportunities for you to get involved and make a difference. Police can be contacted during an emergency on 000 or for non-urgent police assistance contact 131 4. For confidential tips towards any ongoing investigations or information that you would like to provide, please contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000. There are various services, programs and technology being implemented in Adelaide to improve safety further. In the future, SAFOL is aiming to create many new beginnings in an even safer environment.